Okay, this is gonna be a video from scratch. This happens to be a Cobra 25 LTE WX with the weather bands. Somebody threw me this radio, had no power cord. So I picked up one of these cheesy workman ones, but you know what, they work. Unless you have a high powered radio. If you're just using a five watt radio, this little thing with the three amp, that's gonna be fine, it's gonna work. So I picked up them, and I always buy extra. And these, I got the heavy-duty ones in case I come across a radio that's a little more heavy-duty. So I got the stronger ones, too. But on this particular radio, I'm not doing that. The first thing I noticed was I turned it on, and no sound. No meter light, but the meter went up. And then I said, wait a minute. Some of these radios require a microphone to make the sound. I remembered that. So I found this old Superstar mic that I had, and I plugged it in, and it worked. Sound, sound came on. Now, I, you notice it's scratchy. Listen, hair scratchy. Now, I went to the weather band. I only have a wire plugged into it. By the way, we got snow out here in Long Island, New York. It's a little after New Year's right now. It's the 9th, January 9th. Now, let's go to two weather bands. And you hear how crappy it sounds? You hear it? Like, you hear the static. Hear it? You hear that? All scratch. Look at that. It's cutting out. So the way you clean these things, I, I'll show you. You're going to see it from scratch. I'm going to unplug the mic. I'm also going to turn off the power. Now, I'll put it this way. So you're going to see this from scratch. I didn't take anything apart yet. And you'll see how easy it is to actually clean these things. And, uh, and this way you can kind of service this yourself a little bit. You know, don't be one of those golden screwdriver guys who are going to sit there and start peeking out radios and things like that. Because if you don't know what you're touching, you, you really can mess things up. <laughs> so don't, don't start playing with stuff. Just do the basics. That's it. You want to open it up, you can. It's a pretty simple thing. Okay, so we see the speakers on the bottom of this. There's only four screws. Two on each side, none on the back. Just two on each side. That's it. I'm not recommending doing it with a power tool, but I got good with it. So I just gently take it out with a power tool. Don't put it back in with a power tool. You know, not until you get really used to it or unless you have a setting that's going to not let you scratch this up. Okay, this guy has a microphone thing that he screwed in there. So, I don't know if I have to take both of them out. I'm not sure. Let's see, there might be five of them. Let's see if that comes out. Nope. Got to take the other hole out, too. He zip screwed a mic in there. I think that mic, that mic one is holding it. Let's see. Wow, this radio was never opened. It's got the tag on the side. That's why it's hard to open. It's got the tag right there. All right, so. Wow. All right, I'm gonna try not to damage that tag. All right, now, let's show you the inside of this. How am I gonna do this without damaging the tag? I'm trying to leave the tag, not that it matters. All right, here's what's inside the radio. Okay, now you can see with your volume is this first one. I could probably even do it with it on. And you just spray in there and clean it up. Let's see, if I didn't unhook the wires, let's see if it'll come on again. I already unplugged something somehow. I might, oh, it won't, uh, look at that. It won't come on without the, oh, it does, it does. Okay, it's coming on. Let me open it again so I can spray in there. I'm trying to do this so you could See this a little bit you know what it's it's pretty hard to do while balancing this cover all right i'm not really hearing the uh the sound out of it like before is there a safety there's no safety on it all right well either way i'm gonna clean this out i thought i could do it with it on but there's no sound coming. Oh, because I unplugged the mic. I forgot about that. Let me plug the mic back in. See what I mean? I'm really doing this from scratch, people. Coastal water forecast from 
Okay, you can hear it, right? Now. Now I'm going to spray right in this first knob. Okay. I use this. Now let me, let me turn it on. A little bit. It's much better now. It still sounds crappy, but it's not the volume now. Now it's just, you don't hear that static. Watch, I'll go to CB mode. And, uh, okay, now there's CB mode. Remember before when I raised the volume, it was all scratchy? No more. See, nice and smooth, hear it? That's what you want to say. Nice and smooth. Now let's go back to the weather band, see what that sounds like. Maybe I just don't have a good... It actually is better. Because yeah, I got the static out. It still sounds broken up, but that just happens to be the way it's receiving it. But see? Now it's nice and smooth. So there's that radio. And no one ever opened this radio up before. So that's that. Okay. I hope that helped anybody. Do me a favor. Like and subscribe my videos. You never know what you're going to get. Sometimes you get, you never know, fixing a generator, driving an RCR, or racing a Viper. You never know. Take care, guys.